Today I'm going to show you how I turn this vegetable steamer and this little grate into a really lightweight camping stove. Hey everybody, welcome back. I got an idea, alright? Um, I was looking at a new product that's called the Gorilla Put Fire Bowl. And as I was looking at it, I'm like, gosh, that looks like a vegetable steamer without the holes. And then I thought, well, you know, my hobo stove with all the holes on the side makes for an amazing um, burn. It lets that air in. You get a really clean burn. You don't get a lot of smoke. So instead of destroying our, you know, vegetable uh, steamer at home, I went out and I bought one of these. Now this thing is super light. For those of you that don't know, this is a vegetable steamer. You'll generally put your vegetables in and steam them. It can open all the way up, or it can go like this, and you can use that. And that is a really sturdy platform there, Easy, easily enough for cooking. This piece, um, gosh, along my travels, I think I got it with an old stove I had that I no longer have, and I saved it because you never know when this kind of stuff can come in handy, and this is just perfect. It squishes right down like that. This goes on the bottom. It's got little legs, and that's less than six ounces. So, I think it was 5.8 when I weighed it. So, super ultra light, really good burning characteristics, and a great little portable stove. Um, now, something else. If you want to use this with your uh, Backpackers portable grill, I don't know if you've ever seen them. It's a grill with the legs that kind of come out like this and just a grill on top. You just open it all the way up. It gives you a nice secure area for your fire instead of burning on the ground. And when you're all done, it closes right back up. Another neat thing about this is you can store your tinder and fuel in here. Um, if you're going to use some wood chips or if you're going to put a couple of things of charcoal in there that you're going to break up later, just fold it right in there. That hole's not going to let anything out. It's small, it's lightweight. We're going to give you a burn and boil test on it in a second. And uh, that's about it. We're going to take it outside and see how it uh, performs. All right, so we're outside here. I got it set up. Um, no fancy fire starting methods today. I'm just using some old paper. I have a little bit of fat wood and I have some wood chips in here and some chopped up uh, wood. I'm just gonna do this really quick. I didn't wanna dig my fire kit out today, so I figured, ah, we'll just throw some paper in there and we'll do it this way. Hopefully it catches. I've got lots of paper in there. I tested this out yesterday um, when I brought it home just to make sure it could withstand fire and all because it is stainless steel. But it did feel a little light. Um, and it seemed to work very, very well. Yeah, it's windy out here today. Which probably will help the stove once it gets started. There's a little bit of fire going there. I just threw in some old scrap paper. Hopefully, I'll get it going. Now we got a little cook pot over here. I'm going to fill this little uh, this little pot with some water, and we'll see. I'll do about half of this bottle. This is what this is a big Aquafina bottle, 33 ounces, and there's probably 30 ounces in it. So we'll just do 15 ounces. 15 maybe 16 ounces of water and I'm gonna get back to you once we get the fire going and uh, we'll see how it uh, how quickly it boils all right so we got the fire started and of course it's blowing smoke in my face oh, and I'm knocking over my camera <laughs> I'm gonna toss this on top here like that and as you can see yeah, it's, it's very very windy out here today but um, the wind is actually helping the fire blowing in through whatever side that it's on, making it a lot more uh, a lot more efficient, burn a lot hotter. Put this on top here. And see what can happen. I'm gonna take a look and see how long this takes. And I will get back to you when uh, I have boiling water and I'll let you know how long it took to boil it. All right, it's been about uh, seven and a half minutes. <clears throat> it is um, burning very efficiently. It started off kind of smoky, and it still is a little smoky because I was using these barbecue smoking chips. <laughs> Probably not the best choice. I didn't really feel like chopping up some wood. Um, but as you can tell, we're getting bubbles, and it's starting to boil. I don't know if you can see in there. Let me look through the viewfinder. Let me move you over it. 
looks like my fire finally went out. There you go. So, about seven minutes or so, you get some boiling water, and that would be more than enough for coffee or heating up a, a Mountain House uh, MR, uh, a Mountain House freeze-dried pouch. And we'll pull it off and take a look. You can see it's nothing but pretty much ash and embers. It burns pretty efficiently. And again, it's really, really windy out here today, so it's really hard to um, judge the... Uh, the um, smokiness of it because it just keeps blowing wind through the holes but it definitely burns efficiently I don't know if it'd be my first choice as a camping stove um, but it's definitely a way to do it on a budget um, the steamer itself was four bucks I think it was four and change up at uh, Smith's or if you have a Smith's near you and um, the top was free but you could fabricate that out of almost anything and let's pop in there pull this off yeah, it's still burning, still doing good. Um, I think in the future, if I do this, I'd probably just use some chopped up wood instead of some uh, smoking chips, because they were awfully smoky, um, and the fat wood didn't help it any either by burning. As you can see, that big hunk of fat wood there burning. But um, all in all, you know, again, this is you know, my my channel is geared towards people who want to do things um, on a budget or who are just starting out in preparedness and camping and outdoor stuff, and uh, this is definitely a way to go. Um, it seems to work very well. I'm going to search and see if I can find one without the holes, or as many holes, and see if I maybe can drill a few, not as many. I noticed that the uh, the little uh, stove that I mentioned before doesn't have holes anywhere here, but it makes me question how efficiently it burns. Now again, you can, I don't want to burn the heck out of my hands, but you can spread this out like this all the way, and you have a nice big fire bowl there. Yeah, that's, that's burned pretty efficiently. That's burned everything up pretty good. So if you got a stove, a, a um, grill, camper grill, you can just stick it over that and burn a bigger fire if you want. Anyway, that's the video for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gave you some ideas. There's always a way to make something uh, work for you. And we will talk to you soon.